And in this corner, live and direct from Moody's Sweet Shop Kitchen, my latest and greatest creation, drum roll, please. I said drum roll, please. Wow, a smoothie. <laughs> Not just any smoothie, Alan. My latest and greatest creation. My lions, tigers, and berries. Oh, my. Oh, no. You kids just don't understand marketing. See, there's going to be a petting zoo in the mall. <laughs> today. Gross! You made that with real lions and tigers? What petting zoo do you know that has lions and tigers? Hmm? So that's not a tiger toenail? Boy, that's a blackberry seed, I think. As I was saying, <laughs> that petting zoo brings in record crowds. And when those people get hungry, there's gonna be a stampede straight in the Moody's. And how do smelly animals and goat droppings make people hungry? Same way it makes people wanna hear the wannabes perform. Really? We're performing tonight? Yeah. This place is gonna be crawling with people. I figured you guys might wanna show them what you got. Show them what you got. Show them what you got. Oh! Hey. Andrew, what are you talking about? We're ready. Drink smoothie too fast. Brain freezing. Well, at least we know there's something up there. <laughs> and dogs out there. Yeah, and they're about to be in here. They're bringing the petting zoo into the mall. <laughs> Dude, that means you'll finally have someone to talk to. <laughs> Come on, Mariah, you're distracting me. I'm trying to get ready for my new fans. <laughs> oh, Drew, I didn't know your parents were coming in town, too. <laughs> Seriously, guys, with this new crowd, it's gonna be a packed house. There's no telling who'll show up. Yeah, all it takes is one producer to bring his kid to the petting zoo, and next thing you know, the Wannabes World Tour. <laughs> world Tour? Pff, please, once we make it big, we're gonna be playing Intergalactic Tour. When the greatest rock band of all time came to me looking for a place to make a very special announcement, I thought, what better spot than the birthplace of the wannabes? Moody's Sweet Shop! Galaxy greetings, Earthlings! <laughs> Alan's light firing our new single into your brain pods, so feel it in your absorber crane. <laughs> If you guys think that song's hot, check us out live on our 2040 Outer Space Tour! That's right, Alan! The United People of Earth have beaten the Robot Republic of Saturn in the race to colonize the moon! And to celebrate, the entire world has unanimously voted for the wannabes as the first ever band to perform live on our new space colony. <laughs> And ten lucky fans will beam with us to the moon in our new wannabes space limo. What? It could happen. What's that noise? 
It's the Robot Republic of Saturn. If you act like a robot, they won't kill you. Dad, what's going on? I don't know, baby girl. Sounds like the mall's emergency tone. That's what we want you to think. <laughs> ah, ah. Can somebody ah. unplug him? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it appears that some of the petting zoo animals have escaped. <laughs> Please remain where you are. The sheriff's office has been notified. Thank you for shopping at Detroit's small place and have a nice day. <laughs> They're shutting down the mall because a few puppies got out of their cages. <laughs> yeah, what are they gonna do? Lick our faces to death? <laughs> Congratulations, bro. It'll be your first kiss. Oh. <laughs> hey, everybody calm down, just relax. I'm sure the mall authorities have everything under control. <laughs> the animals are taking over the mall. It's a jungle out there. <laughs> they pooped on me, man. <laughs> See anything? No. Do you? What was that? Huh? Is that a a spider? <laughs> calm down, okay? Relax. Everybody, just calm down, okay? We're talking about a petting zoo here. <laughs> Guys, maybe he's right. What are we gonna do? Get henpecked to death? Here you go, Uncle Charlie. You. <laughs> Are you, are you gonna be okay? The animals, their claws were like, like meat hooks. But I thought they were petting zoo animals. You know, like animals that people can touch? Like bunnies, goats, pigs? Beasts! Beasts filled with rage and hate. Okay, that's enough. Now, Charlie, you're scaring the kids. They should be scared. We should all be scared. They took my boots, man. My boots. Did they take your boots, Charlie? Or were you so scared you just ran out of them? Can we just clear this up, you know? Um, we're talking about a petting zoo, right? Don't be fooled by their little cotton tails and their beautiful eyes. If you look into their faces, you're looking into the bowels of evil. Just waiting for the moment when we drop our guard so they can take us and put us in those cages. But we don't fit in cages. No. Andrew, huh. put crazy back in your pocket. Charlie, what are you doing? I can't do this, ma'am. They didn't teach me nothing in the academy about defending the human race against an animal uprising. You want that job? Consider yourself deputized. Charlie, Charlie. Charlie, you belong. Guys, I don't know about you, but I feel a whole lot safer now that he's locked in that bathroom. All right, kids, don't worry. The old sheriff doesn't know what he's talking about. I'll go out there and I'll see what's going on. Are you sure about this, Mr. Moody? <laughs> sure. Now, don't fret none. Because not only do I got bakery in my blood, I've got bravery in my heart. <laughs> Where'd you get that accent? Comes along with the bag. <laughs> now, you kids stand back. I got this. <laughs> Why couldn't we have gotten stuck in a shoe store? Yeah, who wants to be stuck in a sweet shop? All you can do is eat. What's wrong with that? Would you guys relax? I called Joey's sausage. He'll get us out of here. Here it comes now. <laughs> and there he goes. Any more bright ideas? I can't believe this. If I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna miss my study date with Becky. Drew? We're stuck in a mall. I think she'll understand. No, she won't, because she doesn't know about it. <laughs> See, every Tuesday, I go to the lounge at 547, and I sit from the second table from the back. Becky shows up at 551, and I offer to leave, but then she says in that sweet little voice of hers, it's OK. There's room for the both of us. At 557, she catches me looking at her, and I have to pretend that I'm studying until 601. Stop. 
Dude, why don't you just ask her if she wants to study? <laughs> yeah, that'll work. I might as well be stuck in this sweet shop forever. Forever? What if Drew's right? What if the wannabes never make it out of the sweet shop? <laughs> let go! You let go! Would you two geezers give it up? Alan won't give me back my walker! This is my walker! Check out the spinners. <laughs> I don't see anything. That's because you don't have your glasses on. <laughs> yes, yes. Come on, guys. We've been performing for 50 years. Can't we agree on something for once? Drew, what are you doing in the trash? I can't seem to find my teeth. How am I supposed to wow the ladies with a smile like this? Don't you have a backup set? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Tara. Ooh, I hope that fell in a smoothie. Gross! One order of toast! Coming up! No, Mariah, that's not what I said. Of course! Toast is made from bread! Just turn up your hearing aids. Oh. <laughs> All right, we have to go get ready now. Don't have to yell! I'm not here! I'm just saying! Sarah! Does this costume make my butt look big? Andrew, you haven't worn costumes since we graduated from the Highlands. And the only reason your butt looks big is because you're wearing two adult diapers. I just can't hold it like I used to. Oh, take a breath through the first layer. Andrew, we don't have time for this. We're on. to wear adult diapers? <laughs> awesome, think of all the time I'll save. <laughs> Guys, that's not gonna happen. I have to figure out a way to get us out of here. Sarah, don't go! It's just too dangerous. Make Alan go. Me? You just said it was too dangerous. Back, 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 back. I'm just saying. Sarah, wait. Don't worry, Drew. I want to do this. <laughs> I wasn't offering. But if you do make it in the outside world, could you give this note to Becky? <laughs> Viva. Via con Dios. Sarah, we can kick her out there! <laughs> you have to douse the smoothie on you in order to repel the animals. I don't think so. Cages. Let's go find some buckets. Okay. Sam. Sam. Girl. Oh, 
What is coming down out there? Animals going crazy. What were you doing out there? I told you to stay put. I only left because I was afraid the wannabes wouldn't become successful, and we'd be stuck performing in the sweet shop for the rest of our lives. Not that that's a bad thing. It's just that I want us to play on the moon. On the moon? Sarah, listen to me. I absolutely believe that the wannabes will succeed. You will, too. All of you will. Regardless of whether you become famous musicians or not. Uh, you kids be safe with those hover shoes now. And don't forget to check out all other products made by Alan Taskin Enterprises. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Hey, <laughs> How you been? I've been reading about your hover shoe company. I should have known you'd come up with a high-tech sneaker for kids. Oh, oh, don't forget, good for the environment. Oh. Oh, well, as an environmental lawyer, it's very important that everyone, even friends, respect my client. Who is your new client? <laughs> Mother Nature. Oh, that reminds me. You should come by my lab later and check out my Earth Shield I'm developing. It captures CO2 emissions and turns them into gentle snowflakes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I still can't believe you became a physicist. Nuclear physicist. But that's a breeze compared to what you've done with this place. <laughs> yeah, only you can make your dad's latest and greatest creations a worldwide brand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knew the muff nut would take over the world? <laughs> Excuse me, huh. looking for some old friends? Oh, friend, put it there. Long time no see, guys. <laughs> oh, wow, who is this little fella? Everyone, I'd like you to meet Becky. Huh? You named your son after your wife. Yeah, that's how in love we are. <laughs> that's how weird they are. <laughs> how is Becky, your wife, that is? She's doing great. She just started touring with the American Ballet. Oh, oh great. wow, wow. I still can't believe she married you. <laughs> I guess all that stalking paid off. <laughs> but I never saw you as a stay-at-home dad. Oh, me neither, but it's the best job ever. <laughs> Isn't that right, little fella? <laughs> My friends. Shayla! How are you? How have you been? Oh. Well, I'm sure you've all heard about Mr. Pascal. Yes. Who knew he'd become the most famous actor in the world? Uh, <laughs> come on, guys. My personal life is none of your business. <laughs> Leave me alone. Bloodsuckers. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Pascal! BTW love the new look. Well, <laughs> once the hair fell out, the career went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> BTW, how are my favorite detainees? Oh. <laughs> Wait, going bald kicked off your acting career? <laughs> you bet your biffy. Oh, <laughs> and who knew I would be headmistress of the high? <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you supposed to be in my office two days ago for wearing your hover shoes outside of school? <laughs> well, for that, I'm going to send you a slow your roll slip. <laughs> and that's two more days of detention. <laughs> well played. <laughs> <gasps> Mr. Oh, Moody! Well, if it isn't the oldest rookie in the NBA. Uh, I may be in my 60s, but my game is still in its 20s. <laughs> and now that my little full-size CEO has taken over the sweet shop empire, I got plenty of time to work on the Moody Moon Ball. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You're in the NBA at 62? Hey, I marry Becky. <laughs> I like Mr. Moody's fantasy. Please tell me more. Listen. If you're lucky, you'll be famous. If you're smart and persistent, you'll be successful. And that's what's important. No. <laughs> what's important is that they rounded up all the animals. Oh! That means they've opened them all up again. All right, everybody get your, your costumes on for your big performance. And I'm gonna need more lions, tigers, and berries. Oh my, look at the time. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello? Is it safe to come out? Yeah, that's good.